I'm Yazan Katib, managing partner for First Course Cardiovascular Institute. And uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about what to expect when you are going to have a heart catheterization or a catheterization of any other vessel, like the legs or the kidneys or the carotid arteries. Uh, how does this work? And uh, you know, how long does it take? What are the risks entailed? So first of all, heart catheterization is a procedure that's been around for over 50 years. Uh, the procedure started by going strictly from the groin, uh, where we numb up the patient, we give just a little bit of sedation to where we get the patient comfortable, but they're still awake, they're still breathing on their own, there is no general anesthesia involved, which makes it safer. Uh, and we give local anesthesia, a tiny bit of pain where we go in is invariably to be expected, but beyond that, most patients really don't feel anything. Once we go past the skin into the vessel, the inside of the vessels, for the most part, is totally insensitive, does not feel what we're doing, which is very good. So once we go in there, we put a catheter, and then from the groin, we can go pretty much everywhere because the arteries in the body are like a tree with many branches. You can go from one to the other to the other with dedicated catheters and wires. And that enables us to go from the groin to the heart, or the, the brain vessels, or to the kidney vessels, or from one leg to the other. So it all depends. We, we choose our entry point based on what exactly we're set out to do. Uh, and the, the ultimate outcome is that the patient will have a successful procedure and then we take the catheter out and sometimes we leave a plug behind, sometimes we just apply manual pressure, sometimes we leave a small suture, but in all those circumstances the patient will come out to the recovery place and recover anywhere from one hour to six hours depending on the kind of closure we used. And then the expectation that they'll go home most of the time same day, thank God very low complication rate, very low incidence of pain or discomfort. Uh, or things of that nature, and pretty good outcome at a very high percent, well over 95% of the time. For more information, visit our website at firstcoastcardio.com. Thanks for watching.